Pac was a genuine person, man. What he, what he did for me, he didn't even have to. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't the most talented rapper. Um, there was people that were sending him videos and demos every day that he probably could have said, yo, I'm going to get this dude. But he seen something in me that he wanted me to be a close friend. Like, he looked at me as his little cousin or his little brother, and I looked at him like a brother figure, uncle, father, whatever. Mm -hmm. But And he was just an individual man that was genuine, and he really cared for the, the well-being of the, us, the outlaws. It wasn't like he just want to have a pool and everybody drinking and party. No, Pop was one of those type of dudes, man, where we used to have to sneak out of his house and we want to go hang out after 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Wow. And we the outlaws. <laughs> we got to sneak out of this dude's house because he like, y'all in That's L.A. Yeah, he, not, not even a curfew. He just like, y'all in L.A., y'all wild. But this is, a, this is the, the mindset of the people in L.A. is different from the streets in Jersey and New York. Mm -hmm. It's a different type of structure. The, the, the streets in L.A. is based on games. And we don't really know that. So we want to just chill and think we can just run the streets. And he's like, no, you're in L.A. now. 